Right, here we are. Just leaving the old mill in. Just warming the legs up. Started to rain. So, that should be refreshing, first thing in the morning. Great night's sleep, great breakfast. Ooh, that's cold rain. Woohoo! Anthony's getting himself ready. Oh, that's going to be a nasty downpour. Right, take care, speak soon. On our way down, rain stopped now. On our way down to Allenby, which has got a lovely tea rooms apparently. We're going to meet Rebecca Hicks there, who's also got a uh, recumbent trike. And I think it's a nice adventure, similar to mine, or same as mine. Now this is a steep descent in the rain which I've got my hands over the brakes because it's a little too quick. Woke up this morning to a beautiful day, looking forward to a beautiful ride. It's just going uphill. So while I've got a moment to speak, absolutely gutted this morning. Woke up to being told we've been attacked again. Unbelievable. So sad. Couple of miles off Allenby and a nice cup of tea. Hadrian's Wall Tourist Trail. It's certainly that. Weather doesn't know what to do. Beautiful. Left turn, Clyde. Back in the country roads. Forty miles in front of us. I hope it's all like this. Lovely. A lovely way to start the morning. So so sorry to hear about London. I'm not gonna mention it all day. But it's gotta stop. One way or another. So so sorry for the ones that's been killed and maimed, injured. All in the name of something I don't understand. Morning, pal. Take care. Don't wait for us. Still going to Allen Bear. Just listen how quiet it is. Just the birds. Nice smooth path. Lovely way to go in the morning. Hey up. Anthony's found another. Bloody hell. They're all over the place. Now I think this could only be Rebecca Rigg. It is. Good morning. Hello. How the devil are we? <laughs> this is beautiful, isn't it? It's all probably work. No, it does. So we've picked up a stowaway. <laughs> it was Rebecca. So she's going to. Uh, take us to some delicious tea rooms for maybe tea and scone um, 
brilliant. What a result. Looking forward to a nice pot of tea. Just left um, Albany Tea Rooms. Scones and jam and tea. We met Rebecca here. She's going to come with us for a little bit. And then she's shooting off. We're going to carry on in the cold and the rain. What a contrast from yesterday. Where are we looking for ants? There's some lovely farms. I have no idea. Let me know if you see a sign. We're looking for a sign. No, just open road. It's got to be said, we've been on this road for a while now, but it's got to be said, high strikes, these trikes, any trikes, Absolutely stunning. They've gone off road, on road, cycle pass. But just listen how quiet that is. It's like Britain's best kept secret is to ride around the countryside on trikes. Smooth, comfortable and you get to creep up on wildlife. But let's keep that to ourselves. Come on then. Can't hear ya! Yeah! Keep going. Yeah, right. This is lovely. <laughs> We're going the right way. No. Not at all. Well, we've just come into Silleth on the Solway coast. Beautiful ride into Silleth. Beautiful. I don't say it enough. Let's see what this place is like. I think we've done about 12 mile this morning. Sun's come out for us. It very much didn't at the beginning. First 10 minutes, soaking wet underpants. 
Anyway, managed to use them as a flag. And it's bone dry now. Let's have a look at Scylla. Off road again. In f Is that you, Ants? Oh, this is going to be interesting. Really? <laughs> the cobble streets of Silla should be interesting. Test these big chunky tires out I've got. Centre of Silleth, give you a quick look round. That's the sea over there, or the Solway of Firth, or something like that. Blue skies again. There's Anthony. He's a nutter. Right, gonna go and see if we can find a cafe. Where's he gone now? I swear to God, it's special needs. <laughs> yeah, I was right. Take care. We just can't get going. We're having a mooch round. Got to make the most of it. Beautiful, beautiful. Nice. Try and get on two wheels. That's a good place, isn't it? Right, let's go find a tea shop. Just done it. Coming out of Silith now. Sun's shining. My underpants are dry. Glorious day. Probably done about 18 mile. It's no rush. We'll for somewhere for dinner shortly. Silas was beautiful. <laughs> On our way to Wigton. That looks like a hell of a hill coming up. I shall conserve energy in some form. Look at that view, it's been following us for the last few miles. Hi, hi, speeder. Lovely, look at that. I think we've got to go up and over them rascals. Don't even know where we're going. Well, Carlisle. It's been a nice straight road. 
motorists have been very kind, giving us lots of uh, room. As you can see with Andy there, look how much room they give you. I can't, uh, if you've got a bucket list, I can't recommend this enough. Adrian's Wall, Route 72. <laughs> Look at the roads. We've been doing this for the last few miles now. I think we're 15 miles off Carlisle. And uh, it's absolutely perfect. How no, quiet that is. Oh, hang on, car. Got to be said for any people doing the uh, Adrian's Wall route, Route 72, that the road from Silleth to Carlisle is absolutely stunning. It's just a joy to ride down. In fact, it's that easy, you can't call it a ride, it's a glide. <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. Go for it, guys. That's Anthony, molesting another cyclist. That's all he's been doing all route. Trying to catch all the cyclists and molest them. Oh, he's left him alone this time. It's gonna mither him then. He's like been stalking cyclists. Telling them where they've gone wrong. Buying a bike. Made a lot of friends on this trip, haven't he has? Good lad, aren't they? All for a good cause. Oh look, he's off one now. Painkillers have kicked in. Well, it's coming up to five o'clock-ish and we made the mistake at around two o'clock-ish to not call at that pub for dinner. <laughs> we said we'll go sit next one. Anyway, three hours later, there was no next one, and there's still no next one. We're about two hours off bed and breakfast, so we should hit there maybe half six ish, seven. Uh, just one of them things. Oh, I'm gone, cattle on the road here. Anyway. That's a lesson learnt. Don't buy bass a pub when you're hungry. Oh, look at this daft cow. I hope these are all right with flags. I tell you what, let's let Andy go first. Oh no. If you listen to Andy here, I'll tell him to go in front. Go in front, Ant. Yeah, Oi, oh, language. Go on in front. Just go in front. I've got some up with my knee. Yeah. No, no. Just walking. go in front. Jesus Christ. 
Oh man, this is this is not good hands. Oh my! What a catch! I can't size and slow. Well, just overtake. <laughs> That's it, nice and close. Get me. Yeah. Chilling. We've only 17 miles off Carlisle. Oh. Fucked it today, haven't we? God, I'm starving. I think we've cocked up on the miles somewhere. We're supposed to do 40 and I think we're, we're going to end up doing 50 odd. I don't know how, but we're ready for some fuel. Hey, oh, look at that daft cow in the road. Holy joking, please be gentle. Oh, look at them stare. It's the stare that puts me off. It's okay. Hello. Hello. Keep going. Hello. Oh, you're the big one. Just had a lovely burger. It's about seven o'clock at night, and we are holy smokes, we are four miles, four miles or so off our digs in Carlisle. So we are flying on a full stomach. Hell of a day's ride today, nearly 50 miles. So that's 90 miles in two days, which is going a bit too much for us really, but I don't know how we've managed that. Anyway, looking forward to the digs. Where's he gone now?
Jeez, it's been a long day today. Even the sun's setting. It's been too long. Oh, we're just entering Carlisle. Which is 90 miles of our route done. And we're entering it like a missile. We've just gone over the River Eden. Not far now. It's been a lovely day, but it's been an hard day. Quite looking forward to the end of the day. What's up with him now? Your wallet stuck on one side, it's making you wobble. Your wallet stuck on one side, it's making you wobble. Yeah. Over here. Yeah. Parking round the back. Well, do you want to go in first? Go on. 